There we go, guys. Eat up. You guys get your breakfast. I will work on mine shortly. Good job. Let's talk to Alexa. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's minus 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 3 degrees. Yeah. All right, you saw it's very cold in Denver. This front came in last night and it's gonna put us in a deep freeze for a few days. So since I'm gonna lock myself in the house, I figured I'd make myself a breakfast casserole this morning. So fry pan. Uh, any brand names you see are not sponsored by the brand. They're just something I bought the store. So I got some pound, I have one pound of pork sausage. It's like medium sized onion. I'm going to add mushrooms to it since I don't do potatoes. Being a type 2 diabetic, any carb really throws me through a loop. I've got, to start with, a half dozen eggs, which I will break and mix up. Uh, peppers. I've got green pepper on the right. And some Anaheims, and I think they're hot, so I'm going to use those very sparingly. We'll chop those up, chop up the onion. Uh, for a topping, 505 medium salsa. Again, I don't like a lot of heat. And I've got an avocado that's starting to get soft, so I'm going to cut that open and put that on the side of my plate. And as I'm cooking, it's coffee time. So I've got my big mug of coffee down here. And my Svenguli mug. He watched him Saturday nights. Uh, and we have a good time with that program. So, let me get the prep going. Okay, put a little bit of olive oil on the pan. Heat going on that. And grab the onion, we'll start chopping that good. parts I'm not going to use in. I've got a composter behind me on the table and as it gets filled I run it and dirt that I end up throwing outside. I don't usually have a specific plan for it and yeah the dogs are going to make noise as I'm working. So I got the onion peeled. starting to go, so it's a good thing I got to it today. Right. Chop it up. My knife skills aren't the greatest, so just a little back. And I will open the sausage in a second as soon as I finish with this onion. Get that cooking, because you want to cook it up. Get rid of all the pink. Sausage. Okay. Cut that 
get power cut off. Finish cutting the peppers, rinsing the mushrooms, get this uh, cooked up. And once this sausage is cooked, we'll go to the next step and I will be back. Okay, most of the pink is out of the sausage. We'll let that go for another few moments while it was cooking. I got a casserole dish, which I sprayed with a nonstick spray. I prefer this over Pam because Pam has all sorts of weird chemicals in it that are not great for you. So you know, it's something that has a natural propellant in the can. There you go. Now that's there. So I'll now add the onion and pepper. Start working that in. Cook up a little more. I'm going to go rinse my mushrooms. I will use all of them since they shrink up. And this is the replacement for the potatoes to give it the texture. And yes, this is just like the pan for side of so I'll rinse that out. I won't add those quite yet. Oh, and there's one other thing I forgot. Hold on. Cheese! Forgot that. Let's cook up a bit. And the thank you is gone now. Sip of my coffee. And what I do with the coffee is, yeah, I've got a Keurig, as you saw, but I don't buy the Keurig pods. I bought these aluminum pods, and I buy my own beans and I grind them myself. Uh, because these Keurig pods, I'm not telling how long it's been from the time the beans were ground, so it makes the store shelf. So it makes my house. So I buy beans, they're nice and shiny so they know they're fresh. I'll grind up what I need, fill the pod, and make my coffee. And I've also preheated my oven, back to the recipe, to 350 degrees. I like the mushrooms and all, but I'm going to take my six. These are large eggs, and I will start breaking these up. I will start opening these and go from there. Let's see how much of a mess I can make. And these shells will go in my composter also. So we're going to get a shove of that in. Three. We'll see if six will be enough. I may need to get a few more eggs out of the fridge. Come on, now, Ben. I'm going to get scrambled up anyway, so I'm not worried about the yolks breaking. Four. And I will add in 
a splash of heavy whipping cream. I'll to shake this up first. There we go. And I will heat that up in a minute. With the fork. This. I will now add the mushrooms and let those cook for a bit. There we go. It's looking pretty good. gets very curious when things are up on the counter. It actually caught him walking around with a knife in his mouth one time with the blade in his mouth. Amazing he didn't cut himself. So I have trained myself. I see I am trainable. Um, to move things out of the way as I go. So yeah, the fridge stuff will go back. I'm going to use this whole package of cheese. It is eight ounces. And I'm also going to add my seasoning now. This is Kinder's The Blend. I get this at Costco. It's a salt, pepper, and garlic blend. And I like it a lot. I use it on most everything. Let these cook down and we'll come back in a moment. Okay, we get the mushrooms cooked down. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees. So I will start assembling this. We'll take turn the heat off in the fry pan. Oops. I spilled some sausage. Well, I'm sure the dog will find it. Wesley does a good job in cleaning my floors if I spill things. Okay, so we got that spread out real nice. Get that into the sink. Yeah, he hasn't made it, he hasn't noticed yet. So I'm gonna take these eggs and beat them. We'll see how I may need a few more. Before I pour the egg mixture in, I'll put the cheese on it. Just that part. And I will use the whole eight ounces of cheese. See if six go far enough. If not, I'll probably have to add a few more. So here we go. And let that pour and settle. And yeah, I'm probably gonna need another three or four here. Let's 
10 eggs at this point. Add a little more heavy cream. We'll beat this guy up. And we will go with this. It's 10 eggs in here. It's plenty of eggs. There's the mixture, all wet, so now it will go into the oven. And I'm going to set the timer for 25 minutes. And we will be back. Okay, here it is at 25 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the oven and let it sit for a moment and then we will cut it and eat it. And there we go, we're on the plate. I'm going to open up my salsa and put a little dab on top. But very cheesy, so that's some of the wet. anything to get in the video done here. Wow, that's tremendous. Should add a little more salt, but it's good. Come back over here, I cut up an avocado. Put on some of the 505 salsa, and this is great, and this will last me a few days. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe this channel. It helps me out tremendously. And until next time, ta-ta.